Now my question is this, if I only had to pay 10, 20 bucks one time payment for Fruit Loops Mobile, now would you actually pay 20 bucks a month for this when you have that out there? No. I fucking want it. Dim light. The first thing I realized about this app is that you have to pay monthly. That's kind of a big deal. Because there's mobile DAWs, digital audio workstations out there like Fruit Loops Mobile. But you only pay once. And it's like 20 bucks. And I don't know. Like It's, it's going to be kind of hard. It's going to be a tough act to follow. To even compare. To Fruit Loops Mobile. Or Fruit Loops Studio in general. The quality of the digital audio workstation. Isn't bad at all. I mean. It's, it's pretty decent. Let me get into this shit. Okay. So there's a high variety of uh, categories. You go, go into all. These are all the packs. It's more of a like a DJ board than an actual digital audio workstation. It's very limited to what can be done. Okay. So it's different categories. You go into different depending on what kind of genre of music you want to make. And then each each category has specific layouts. This is always four plugins per set. This set right here has the drum, the bass, chord, the melody. Okay, first off, this shit's annoying right here. Because it's kind of hard to fucking see. Because the bowl's purple. But whatever. So the way it works is that each dot represents notes and then the BPM. That's the best way to put it. So the way BPM is measured with this Digiari workstation is it goes beeper measurement from left to right. And going up and down changes the note from A, B, C, D, E, F, and so forth. That's it. That's fucking it. I mean, that's that's all it is. It's very simple digital audio workstation. It's not complex at all. And that is probably the first issue. Lack of complexity equals lack of options and lack of depth. In the learning curve. There's not much of a learning curve in here. I've seen DJ pads that are more complex. And again, I'm not going to bash something that is there. I give credit to the person who made this. And you know, it's, it's very, very possible to make music with this. Okay? It really is. It's actually pretty good when it comes to making music. Get the point, right? I mean, it's 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 pretty cool. It's a pretty cool digital audio workstation. I'm not gonna lie, but there's just so many things about it that I just started messing with it. It came out recently. I started using it yesterday, and I you know I made a I, I produced a few tracks with it. You know, I mean, like I said, it's, it's more of a soundboard than anything. It's not really a digital audio workstation. You could call it that because you could collaborate with other digital audio workstations like Logic, Fruit Loops. Mobile, Studio, 12, Caustic, etc. You could use a whole variety of different softwares in collaboration with this one. And, you know, you can create some pretty cool shit. But at the end of the day, I mean, for veteran producers, is this application really solid? My opinion, it lacks a lot of depth. I mean, as you can see, I made a quick beat right there. There's just so much I could have done with it. I mean... I couldn't engineer it, I couldn't modify it, equalize it, I couldn't do EQ, any of that shit. No mixing and mastering. 
which is like fucking two octaves out of like eight or nine that should be in a fucking 57 key of a beat per measurement it goes from one to a quarter and such but the beat per measurement even those are like linear like it has a very linear pattern there's no real wide variety of complexity it, the, the app lacks depth it's not even in a project form it's, it's an official release you can find it on play store i give credit to the creator because it definitely it definitely is good for what it is but with all the competition out there does it hold a candle well um eh, it's fun it's good for beginners you know that's that's definitely true that's fact right there it's definitely good for beginners. Let's get to the uh, the business part of it. Would I pay for this? I think it's like 10 20 bucks a month. Now my question is this. If I only had to pay 10 20 bucks one-time payment for Fruit Loops Mobile, now would you actually pay 20 bucks a month for this when you have that out there? No. I fucking want it. But at the end of the day, you can get a free trial. I'm using a free trial right now. You get like a, a three-day trial with this shit. And then you got to pay the 20 bucks a month. It might be a week. I, th I think it's 10 bucks a week. I all remember was when I looked at the price. I was like, there's no fucking way that it costs this much. That's outrageous. It's fucking crazy. You know? I mean, it's like I said, it's fun. A child can make music with this. So that's a plus. Because that can teach a child at a young age that they are musically inclined. I believe everybody's musically inclined. I believe everybody has musical talent if they actually invest their time into learning how music theory works, etc. But that's another issue. This app doesn't exactly go in depth with music theory. I mean, there's not really much there. It's, you're just pressing buttons. You can pretty much button mash and make music. That's the way to put it. I mean, you can do that in any, with anything, but I don't think it would sound really fucking good if you were playing a piano or smashing keys with your fist. But anyway, I just wanted to get my opinion on this. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have used it. You know, if you have fucked with it, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Maybe I'm not using it right. It's it's cool in, in a way, but it's just I want to like this because I want to use more digital audio workstations. I like to always expand my horizons. This could be big. It could turn out to be very big. I'm assuming it's going to turn out to be very big for DJs that are up and coming and music producers that want to learn how the fuck with sounds. I could see this getting big, especially also for people who just want to have fun and you know, kids and stuff like that. that yeah, it can get big in that. But my main concern is the depth level. Can you take it to like, a professional level using this digital audio workstation? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. If you like my videos, subscribe on my YouTube channel at The Weirdest Music. Have a good night. We interrupt your life to bring you The Weirdest Music.